Jeffrey says, while sharing Teams meeting links, mine always comes as a live meeting instead of a Microsoft meeting link. How do I change this? Okay. okay so who, who put that comment in our notes over here of share the correct link? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but, you know, that it's, well, it's, it is like, what kind of a link are you sharing? Where are you trying to do it from in the first place? Because if you're inside Microsoft Teams, the default is, you know, doing a meeting. The moment you click on a calendar, it says bring up a meeting and it's a Teams enabled meeting. The only way you're going to do a live meeting is if you do the drop down to physically get to a live meeting link. So I'm kind of going, are you in Outlook? Because Outlook doesn't even do a live meeting in Outlook. So it, it doesn't actually generate from Outlook. It generates from Teams itself when you want to do live meetings. So I'm kind of going, is that question more around I don't want to have the link to a Teams meeting? Like I just want a generic you know, appointment you know, like with someone invited and not actually enabled as an online meeting. That's the only thing I could think of. It's like when you talk about a live meeting, it's mm -hmm. I don't want the links for them to join online um, rather than because I can't imagine how it would kick off a live meeting, which is something different to having a virtual meeting using Microsoft Teams. That's kind of right. the thing that I'm actually thinking it might be as part of the question because I kind of go, I can't see how it would generate a live meeting, which is, you know, limiting down I'm sorry, it's limiting down the interaction where it's very one way. It's a on presentation. A, a meeting. Right. Well, it's that's, a different that's the thing. It's, my question is just like, well, how are you creating this? Which is your, yeah. your point. And you, I don't, you can't, I, I, like, I don't know where you would be able to go in and swap it between one or the other as a default for just setting up uh, meetings. Well, I'm perhaps not. setting it for either setting it from Teams or setting it from Outlook. There might be a difference yeah. there. Yeah. And look, if you're in Outlook and you've got it set up and it's auto setting up as a Teams meeting, which is standard, which is then your online virtual meeting, not a live meeting, you can actually go back in either through Outlook and go don't host online. So it will then remove all the Teams meeting link information. And you've also got a toggle inside Teams to go, you know, don't turn it into the, the Teams meeting with all of the join online link. That's if you want to revoke those links through so that people aren't going online because I'm kind of going, well, but having it there is enabled for hybrid meetings isn't necessarily a bad thing unless they're kind of going, I don't want to be doing any virtual. We're literally in person. Can we remove the linking for to say that we could do it online so that they turn up kind of thing? That's the only thing I can, I can think of. I can't imagine how it would generate a live meeting link unless there's something in the back end where they've said, you know, for this person, can't imagine how, um, you know, with some scripting or something that it's auto generating live meetings in teams for them. Well, you, know, you it, can turn it well, off. Again, can you turn yeah, it on it's, it's only? It's, yeah. I mean, there, there is the, uh, the ability to go in at the admin level to go in and so enable who can create live yeah. meetings or, or not yeah, yeah. Like turn the policy yeah. on or off, uh, who right. can, you know, join live events. You can also control that. But again, uh, you know, that's like an intentional uh, right. you know, yeah. meeting type. It's different from just the Outlook integration, create a meeting that's Teams. It's mm. just a different thing. So, yeah, mm. the only thing I can think of is in, in the wording, you know, a lot of people don't understand that a live meeting is actually another product as such under the under the suite. So that's the that's the only thing I can kind of think of on on this one, because I can't see how it would generate a live meeting. And even if you're inside a meeting, so if you're inside a meeting and you want to get the link to the meeting, like to share, like get a link to share to a meeting in chat sort of thing, or it's going to only be the meeting type that you're currently in anyway, because it's the link to the meeting that you're already in. So unless you're in a live meeting, it wouldn't generate a link to a live meeting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if you're inside a meeting that's just generic Teams meeting or a, or a webinar or a live meeting, because there are three types, you've got your standard, you've got a webinar, and you've got a live meeting. So they're the three types that you can actually do. And you'd have to physically be in one of those to share the link, you know, whilst you're in there, and it would be the type that you've already got. I was gonna, you, you, my other smarmy comment, comment was that, well, um, if you don't want to invite them to a Teams Live, don't create it as a team's live and then send them an invite yeah. um 
Yeah. I, I, again, I don't, I don't, if it was, we're understanding the question that Jeffrey's asking and uh, it sounds, it sounds like it's, he's getting these teams live links rather than the standard teams meetings. Um, I don't know that that could be turned on by default. It's still, you have to like intentionally go and create it as a live event. Yes. And then share that link out. Mm. Hmm. So don't know how that's happening. If it's happening like that or yeah. We need more info. <laughs> yeah, this, this is one of yeah, those we have to understand. scenario. Yeah, yeah, we'd have to understand or, or drill into the wording because a lot of people will say that to me, but I don't want it to be a live meeting. And I'll go, well, then you can actually go don't host online. And that is because when they talk to me in terms of training from that end user perspective, they don't understand that live meeting because they often even don't have access to live meeting because, as you said, it's conditional policy of only certain people like the comms team might be able to set up a live meeting. So they don't actually understand the wording. So I get it all the time where they go, but what if I don't want to do it live? I don't want to you know have the teams meeting link um so i go well you know i think it's just i think it's just a wording thing personally could be it's another reason why uh you know a lot of people just default to the chat and dial it up and hey join in group chat and, and teams and use it that way